what's your experience been like? Because I know, I, you know, I, I got notes on you. Someone at one point thought you were serving coffee. That's a fun story. I, mean, I, I call it fun now. At the time, right. it wasn't fun. Um, yeah, as a woman of color in corporate America, it's right. an interesting place. And I have my experiences within Deloitte, but I have very varied experiences outside of Deloitte because I serve clients. And so that story in particular was I was doing work in Latin America, in Argentina in particular. Most um, of the people I was working with at this client site had never met a female partner, had never met an Indian female partner. So when they saw Deepa on the list, they didn't really know what to make of a Deepa. <laughs> and I showed up in the room, right? And I'm sitting in the room because I'm there early as the you know person who's running right, the meeting. Right, of course. And they look around. It's very traditional in Argentina every few hours to bring in coffee. It's just coffee is part of the meeting culture. And um, you know we're about to start the meeting, and one of the senior leaders from the client side looks at me and says, "Are you here to take notes or to, you know, bring coffee?" And I kind of looked at him. And by the way, that happened about six or seven times because I went down there every every two weeks for about six months. And it used to really bother me. I used to you know explain, "No, I'm the partner," and you know stand up straight and really get you know t you know almost a little bit uh, upset about it of course by the sixth or seventh time I said sure what would you like in your coffee and I did that because as soon as I did that and I went to lead the meeting afterwards he was mortified I got everything I wanted from the meeting because it was just a little bit of a fine if that's the, the role you see me in I'm gonna change that but you know we'll have some fun with it good for you yeah, yeah. unfortunately though the perception is still out there. Although it's true it exists, it happens, there's a lot of unconscious bias out there, there's a lot of bias out there. I think there, it's, it's very empowering to get past that and realize uh, my work speaks for itself, I speak for Agreed. myself, and that's a lot of wasted energy. It's about them and not me, and I kind of say that in my head now when things yeah. like that happen. Because I'm sure they still do. They still do, they still do.